Hey guys, it's GQ Crafty. Welcome to day seven. Yes, day seven on the 30 days of um, sketches with Chrissy from Chrissy's Beautiful Life and the September um, collaboration. Like I said, greatest collaboration ever, I think. Um, so today, day seven, just saw the sketch. The prompt is multi-photo. Perfect, right? That sketch is perfect for multi-photos. Funny thing, though, I decided I'm just going to do three. Um, and then I have you know, two spots to do something else. So we'll see how I tackle that. But I have these photos of the official day of my son's graduation from um, kindergarten. Uh, we took photos outside and these are just some, three of my favorites. I took a lot of photos. I did narrow it down. I could have narrowed it down and kept to like five or six, but um, I decided to narrow it down just to my three favorites. And I thought it would be kind of fun to use um, what I have left, which is not much. A uh, pretty little studio, color me happy. Um, just a fun collection, lots of bits I have lots of bits, hardly any paper, just lots of bits. So we will see what I can come up with for, um, yeah, for paper in that, um, for going across. Oh, I might be able to use that. Hmm. Um, so yeah, we're going to play with a bunch of these cards and see what we can come up with. And that's pretty much all I got. going to do a little mixed media, I think. So let's get started. So the dehumidifier had shut off. Um, and now it's back on. So I apologize if you hear it in the background. At least it's just like one solid sound. It's not undulated or anything. So background noise. So I decided just to take some um, marshmallow cardstock and dry brush on some salvaged patina. Uh, so I just squished the ink pad on my glass mat and then spritzed it so it is wet. And then I took the biggest... Um, brush I have and I'm just brushing across with salvage patina and now I'm going to take a little bit more and um, splatter okay and then I decided you know it needs a little bit of um needs a little bit of something just a little bit more and I decided oh the new prize ribbon is the perfect blue the perfect blue so I'm going to grab that and do some of that as well and so I end up splattering first and then I'm just going to do a little bit of brushing because I don't want it to like cover the salvage patina but to just have a layer so it's a little, a little, just a little taste of it. And I love the way that turned out. So I set that aside to dry and I matted it on some black cardstock. And now I'm going to get ready with my photos. So the fun thing about this collection and with these photos that I'm using is they, it comes with a lot of different kinds of pocket cards. Short ones, um, normal 3x4, normal 4x6, and then these tall like bookmark looking ones which work out great for these photos that I have. I didn't even like, I did not plan this. Like I just saw that I had only so much left of this collection. I thought it'd be good to do with this photo. So I got my colors from uh, the photo that had the big circles on it that I matted the one photo in, and then I'm gonna mat the two other photos in those other patterns um, just to have some color behind them. And then I'm going to mat them in black as well. And then I'm going to take two of the three by four cards that I like, and I'm just going to cut them down. Um, one I cut down to like two and a half by three, I think. I think I cut them both down to two and a half by three. And I'm going to mat them on black. And they're just going to be little placeholders um, to fill that spot of the sketch to give some more pattern to the, the page. And then I can kind of embellish on the one. I don't need to, but... I thought it would be kind of fun and it works out pretty good. So I'm going to do that. And so far the way it's looking, I'm liking it. I go through and I see this other pocket card that has these cubes. And so I'm going to cut three of them. Um, and I'm going to use them as journaling strips and just a place to put, uh, my title on the lower right side. And you'll see after, the way I have them set up, this is the way I really wanted them. But for some reason, when I started journaling, because I figured I should journal on them before I put them on the page, because I've noticed, like, if I have stuff that's popped up on my phone, it's really hard to journal on, and I'm going to pop them up. Um, so I'm going to start journaling on them. And for some reason, I grabbed the other one. I don't grab the one that's sitting up on the photo. So then now I have ones with more pink next to each other. I wanted to spread the colors out. It still works. It still looks fine, but I'm just kind of disappointed. <laughs> just kind of disappointed. I wish I would have paid more attention 
Um, but I'm going to journal on there and then I'm going to pop them up uh, on the left side of the photo. So I've got those down and then I went through kind of other things that I'm trying to just use up. This is kind of a how to kill a kit with style. My how to kill a kit this month is just using up some leftovers and I thought I would kill more of this um, collection, but I did not. But I have these Jilly Bean Soup Black Puffy um, Foam thickers and I wanted to I was hoping I had something a different type of title but I, I like the way this turns out um super cute so I'm gonna put the super up on the left and I'll put cute down on the right and then I will end up using one of the word um the like the cardstock word titles uh from this collection as well that says one of a kind I play with a bunch of them um, so as soon as I get the title down, then I'm going to go ahead and start arranging, just go through all the ephemera, all the cardstock stuff, all the cardstock stickers, just try and figure out what I want to use. I like the BU. I like the hear me roar. I liked all of it, <laughs> but ultimately I start moving things around a little bit. I really like the hear me roar. So I'm going to put that one down there. And then I like, I love a lot of the word phrases. Um, so I'm going to use so cool and epic over there on hear me roar. And I will put like a heart sticker and one of the foam hearts from the thicker set. And then I'm going to put a couple of word stickers up top, uh, be true to you and own your magic. And then I'll sprinkle a couple of hearts up there as well. One foam, one sticker. I really want to use some of these critters up. I only had a couple. I had uh, the like horse head, the zebra head, and then the llama. So we're going to tuck the little llama by the title and then um, it'll get overlapped by the one of a kind. I'm going to sprinkle a few of those heart stickers and a couple of the one of the foam ones. And then I like the little cluster I made <laughs> with the balloons and the zebra and uh, foam thicker and then funky, fresh and unique are the two uh, fray sticks that are over there. So here's a couple close ups. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, like every day, check out everybody else who's playing down below. There's so many awesome people and product or projects that they're working on and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.